Spas are growing rapidly across the country with people getting procedures like chemical peels and hair removal. But for the more expensive operations like fat removal and Botox, the treatments are causing many to get painful infections. Six News anchor Adriana Alexander looked into the growing problem and joins us now live in studio with some safety advice from medical experts. Hey, Adriana. Hey, Chris and Lindsay. If you remember back in July, Wortham woman Jennifer Cleveland died after getting an IV treatment at a med spa. Her case is extreme, but health scares at med spas are being seen more often, and medical experts want people to do their research before making a potential life-altering decision. Thanks to social media, Statista reports that the beauty industry is projected to generate almost $650 billion in 2024. Med spa treatments like lip fillers, microneedling, and fat reduction contribute to that large number. Problem is, Amy Mercyofsky, nursing director at Texas A&M Central Texas, says many of these procedures have not been done correctly, causing hundreds of people to suffer from infections. These people aren't licensed and they don't have maybe the competencies they need to uh, provide these treatments uh, safely. Head of the Texas Medical Board, Dr. Sharif Zafrin, is warning potential patients to look deeply into the spa you choose before getting anything done. No matter how much you see it proliferated out there, just understand that these are potentially dangerous things and you want to make sure that the appropriate people are the ones who are overseeing it, prescribing it, treating it, and so forth. So when looking for a spa, find out who owns and operates the med spa, what credentials the person has, and if that medical practitioner is licensed. It's always safer to just stop and not do anything and just ask those questions and come back later if necessary. And Mercyofsky strongly recommends that people consult their doctor first, especially if you're living with an underlying condition. Anyone who has significant past medical history, like I mentioned, people who have things like heart problems, people who have immunocompromised that have a kind of a high rate of infection risk anyway, um, they should be extremely, extremely careful. Now, the American Spa Association reports medical aesthetics is a $15 billion industry in the U.S. and is projected to hit $25 billion by 2025, guys. Yeah, it's not going anywhere, it's but not. we want everybody to stay safe. That's yeah. the key. Adriana, thanks so much. Well, some